This is Sean, and in this video, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I dive the U-352 U-boat off of the coast of North Carolina. And so I'm going to start this video here at the North Carolina Aquarium and take a look at these Atlantic spade fish. I'm going to show you the real thing coming up. Here are some of those Atlantic spade fish on our second dive of the weekend. So those guys are pretty cool. This is the North Carolina Aquarium at Pine Knoll Shores in the Atlantic Beach area, Moorhead City area. And this is a replica of the submarine that I'm going to go dive. And this is in their large display tank at the aquarium. This is around the back side of that same tank and you can see the other side here. And so they have a bunch of different fish in here and sharks, large, large specimens in this large tank. This is the display with the information on the U-352, but basically it had a couple of tours of, of duty and the first one they didn't sink anything, the second one they didn't sink anything, and they, came, they were kind of getting desperate and they came across what they thought was a merchant ship, but it was a Coast Guard cutter, the Icarus, and they fired at it, I think it was during the day, and they missed and the cutter turned right back around and dropped a bunch of depth charges and hit the u-boat and it surfaced and the cutter just opened fire on them and with everything it had and it started the u-boat started to sink and so they stopped firing and it sank down and they heard it they heard it uh the propellers going and so they dropped a couple more charges and then survivors started coming up so that was the first pow's of world war ii german pow's This is the Mutiny 2 dive boat. I've been out on this dive boat several times in the last five or, or so years. And this is Captain Al, and he owns the Fisherman's Inn in Atlantic Beach. And so I've, do I've dove off this boat a few times. And really, really good diving outfit. If you're interested in doing any dives, he can take you there. I did make the decision to take the drone out on the boat and that was a little bit nerve wracking trying to launch and land a drone on a moving boat. But I was really hoping that I'd be able to see through the water and see the wreck from up in the air. But as you're going to find out here shortly, the visibility was really, really bad that day. And so you can't see anything underneath the boat here. This is the dive boat. I was really hoping to see the wreck through the water. It's about a hundred and it's about a hundred feet down or so. So we didn't get to see it from this view. This is the anchor man, Kathy, and she's waiting for the captain to position the boat directly over the wreck because when she goes over, that anchor takes her straight down and she's going to set up the anchor line for us. I was out on this wreck a couple months prior to this dive with the same dive shop and same charter and visibility was really really good then but I decided not to take the camera for that trip I just didn't want to mess with the camera at all and so we had had some hurricanes here they they didn't hit North Carolina but they were down further south and they still impacted the water here so the water was was not very visible and anytime you get really turbulent water like that, all these millions and millions of little bait fish, they all seek shelter. And so shipwrecks, that's why they're artificial reefs because they're stationary in just a sea of sand off the North Carolina coast. So conditions were not very good for this dive on the U-boat, but we'll take a look at a couple things that I saw while diving it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Visibility was so low on this day on this dive that a lot of these pictures are close up Because once you got far enough away from the sub you couldn't really see it through all the The muck and the bait fish, but here you can kind of see a little bit of the sub and the u-352 is about 218 feet long It's not very big and it's listing a little bit to starboard about 45 degrees to starboard and you're prohibited from penetrating it because it is considered a like a wartime grave and so you're not allowed to penetrate it now the dive guy guide that I had he has a crew coming out pretty soon and they actually got permission to take an ROV a remote operated vehicle from the German government and swim through this thing and so you do have to get permission if you want to try to penetrate it Just shining a flashlight inside the sub here, you can see that it's got a pretty sandy, silty bottom. And so talking to some of the guys on the dive boat, this this is a recipe for disaster if you want to go in it. Because if you stir that stuff up, it can be instantly blacking out. And there's a lot of entanglement problems under there with a lot of pipes and things like that. So penetrating wrecks is never anything I've been interested in doing. Here's the anchor line that Kathy set for us and as you can imagine on a submarine there's not a lot of places you can anchor to and so that anchor line is the lifeline up and down to the wreck. I did find a small moray eel here in this little tube looking thing and he didn't come out though so these things are pretty cool I like morays but I've been diving with ones that are like eight feet long and they're 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 not aggressive but those big ones can be pretty scary especially when they come just just charging out of their hole at you they can be pretty scary so this one was pretty friendly he was just kind of hanging out in there and this other fish was looking at whatever the light was looking at When I was out here previously, you could really see the sub, but that's about as good as it got during the dive to being able to see the whole thing. The bait fish and the visibility were just not there for us today. I think this is the conning tower on the top of the sub here and maybe the periscope and I think that's the main entrance to the sub so let's shine our flashlight in there and see if we can see anything cool inside of there now there were a bunch of Germans that went down with this sub and so they're still down there so you you know that's why you're not allowed to to penetrate into these old wartime wrecks or to take any 
relics or artifacts off of them because you know they they do contain the remains of, of fallen people here so that's about as far as I'll go is trying to flashlight and stick the camera in there And with that, my dive is over. So you can't quite see it here, but I'm back on the anchor line and I'm going to start my ascent. So boy, I've been on, on this wreck when it's been really nice condition. So it was kind of disappointing to have all the camera equipment out there ready to make a video and then have a ton of bait fish and low viz. As I was making my way up the anchor line, there were a bunch of barracuda that were hanging around. And so these guys will usually let you get pretty close to them. They are sight predators and they're usually pretty interested in what's going on. So they got pretty close to those. And then here I am at my 15 foot safety stop and there were a couple of barracuda there too. This isn't one of my usual videos, and so let me know what you all think about this. Usually I put these on my personal channel, but I've been spending so much time on, my, on this channel that my personal channel is pretty much just stagnated. So let me know if you are okay with me putting these personal videos up on this channel. And I'll wait a couple weeks and see what you all say and go from there. Thanks for watching.